the vlog. Typically I'd be working from home today, but it's been so rainy here in San Francisco and it's finally a sunny day. So I think I'm gonna go outside. First thing we gotta do is finish packing my backpack. So this is the Peak Design Everyday Zip. It's really useful when I have a lot of camera gear I gotta bring with me. Gotta bring my work MacBook, of course. Today I'm gonna be bringing my two new action cameras. This is the Insta360 Ace Pro. I got this really neat magnetic clip, so stays in there and really easy to twist off when I need it. I also got a new 360 camera. I'm super hyped to be using these new cameras because they're really fun to use and I have a lot to learn. So I thought I'd bring it out today to practice. Instead of taking the bus, I'm gonna be riding my e-bike around in the city. I feel like it's a really nice way to enjoy the nice day that we're having. And also one of my goals for today is to capture some really cool shots of me riding the e-bike with my action cameras. There's a lot to look forward to today, so let's get started. I'm gonna try and keep my work routine the same as when I'm in the office. So I'm gonna start the day off by getting coffee. To get there, I'm gonna have to bike up this really steep hill. So I'm gonna set up my 360 camera to get these really cool behind the scenes shots of me riding the bike. It is pretty steep though. So I am a little bit worried that my camera might fall off, but I hope that it doesn't, but I guess you'll find out really soon. <laughs> okay, we should be good. Something to make me stay Round and round forever searching For something I could never get replaced Don't need you to save me But I just really need to be saved I'm just so sick All right, so we made it to the first location nice and easy. I got a large ecstatic iced coffee, no cream, no sugar. Pretty good. Thank you to TJ for this coffee. Okay, enough coffee. I don't know if you can tell, but I was having so much fun like riding my bike over here. I was a little bit nervous about riding on Castro just because it is a pretty busy street, but this bike was super powerful. It was like such a breeze. I didn't really have to compete with cars for space because I could keep up with them for the most part. My setup for today is pretty simple. All I have is my MacBook. Pro tip when working from a cafe is to always use your own hotspot or if you have to use public Wi-Fi, then always use a VPN. Just for a little bit more added privacy, I do have a privacy filter on my screen. I'm in a pretty contained area right now, so I'm not really too worried about people looking at my screen, but it's a good thing to keep in mind if you're working on anything confidential. Also, work finally upgraded my MacBook, so I'm on an M3 MacBook Pro 16 inch and it's so much nicer than the 2019 Intel MacBook I had. It's like night and day. I filmed an unboxing and first impressions. It's gonna be in my next week in the life vlog. That video is coming out after this one so subscribe to get notified when it comes out. Now that I've been using it for a bit I definitely noticed my build and compile times being so much faster and I really appreciate it. I actually didn't really like this black color because like my my personal fingerprints would show a lot but I'm starting to grow on me. In terms of work updates I'm planning on taking the next two weeks off so I've already wrapped up my current projects and bug fixes and all of that. So today I'm taking a half day to get through all the stuff that I've been putting off like all the admin stuff like going through my emails, updating my calendar and I have two training sessions that I need to complete before I head out of office and then I'm good to go. Finally done with work, I invited my girlfriend to meet me nearby for lunch, so just waiting for her to get here.
lunch stop. <laughs> For lunch, we got an iced matcha latte and a turkey pesto sandwich. So today was a fun day. Let's get this shot looking nice. There we go. Jeez. This is like one of the first times where I'm gonna be like filming so blatantly in public. So I'm a little bit nervous. But yeah, one of my favorite parts about being a content creator is I get to go on these side quests in life. Like the only reason I'm able to have fun and ride my bike around the city is because I started posting videos on YouTube and Baton Powers noticed my videos and they wanted to reach out and work together. So just so happy because it's like been a long time dream of mine to like make videos on YouTube and to be able to just like be creative in that way. But yeah, very honestly, genuinely had so much fun riding this bike out today. This is my first e-bike, so I don't really have anything else to compare it to. I do have my motorcycle license, so I mean, I know what it's like to go fast on like a two-wheel vehicle. I was really surprised at like how powerful this is. Caps out at 20 miles per hour, which is actually pretty fast. And even going up these steep hills in San Francisco, like it was like doing 10 miles per hour, which is really decent. I, so this bike is definitely handy if you're just wanting to like cruise around the city. I would say like the ride has been very enjoyable, super smooth. The seat right here is super comfy and the suspension is great. So I barely felt like the bumps in the road. There's a few times where my body flinched, but the bike handled it really well. I didn't totally love like the step through frame at first. I didn't love the look of it because I like the traditional bike look where it has like the bar in the middle but I actually found it really convenient just being able to very quickly and easily get on and off my bike and it was really handy especially because I had this big backpack on my back pretty much the whole day and there is this bike rack attached to the bike but none of my bags are compatible with it so if you have a good recommendation on a bike bag that will fit on a bike rack do let me know in terms of power this thing packs a punch as you've probably seen through my clips like it goes really fast there's a bunch of different assist levels so you can choose how much you want the motor to help you one thing that may be a breaker for you is that this bike is super heavy and it's really big too so you're going to want to make sure that you have space for it i live in a really small apartment in san francisco and it really doesn't fit and getting it up and down the stairs was pretty hard so i probably have to ask my landlord if i could keep it in the garage or if my dad lets me i'm gonna leave it at his house overall the van powers urban glide is a fantastic e-bike for anyone looking for a comfortable convenient and fun way to get around the city and it's pretty much good for anyone at all levels like i really don't bike like that around in the city and i got around just fine i'm gonna head out hang out at my dad's house so he can check out the bike and hopefully let me keep it in his garage thank you to van powers again for sponsoring this video today has been so much fun can't wait to see you in the next one